Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Gravel. Uh, it is by Milestone SRL. It is currently 70% off during the Lunar um, New Year sale on Steam uh, at $11.99. Normally, it runs $39.99 US. Um, I haven't played any of it yet, so I have no idea what I'm coming into uh, with this. Uh, I will say, however, I can't change the video or audio options for some reason. Just won't let me do it. I don't know why. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't know. I, I I don't know if I'll be able to have any audio in this because there might be some copyright and music. I have no idea. We'll find out in the edit, I guess. Um, until then, uh, I only have a start race right now. So I guess we're going to pop in here and try this. So let's get into the fuller screen, hopefully. And I'll stop moving my face off the screen here. Um, all right. And without further ado, using my uh, controller here, my uh, Xbox controller, let's pop in and start racing. There are even more drivers in the title hunt this year. Perhaps there's even a new off-road master amongst them. Stay strong. Now we're getting serious. So, as you can imagine, this is an off-road racer. And, um... This has been out for a while. It's been out since 2018. So I'm very late to the, to the game here. But I, I'm kind of curious. That I, I happen to see it because it's so heavily discounted for the uh, current sale. So I thought, well, oh, let's try it and see what we get here it does have a lot of the stuff that you that you've seen from like uh forza horizon and stuff where uh depending on the ai difficulty and stuff you get a bonus percentage and you know whether or not you're getting help with trash control and all that stuff so if you turn like trash control help off and all that stuff you get um more of a bonus and all that stuff so yeah so that that's all pretty standard i guess camera do I want? Ooh, not a good time to be playing with the camera, I guess. It also rewinds, apparently. So that's a thing. Alright. Which is kind of cool. It's cool to see, like, all the stuff that I would you kind of expect to see in a in a racing game anymore now with all the the really decent uh, like Forza games and everything else out. So it's good to see them doing that. So I imagine these are an indie developer. I, I don't I've never heard of them before so I, I you know I don't know but of course I don't really follow the racing game scene that much so you know it could be They've been around the block for quite a bit here. I, I don't know. And so far, so good. It's controlling quite nicely, I might add. So I'm quite happy with how it's going at the moment. Oh, that's that that sucks. Okay, let's <laughs> let's uh, let's do a little rewind there, shall we? Uh, yes. Oh, you can rewind and fast forward. Oh, okay. So that's a that's a thing. Let's go back to this here. There we go. <laughs> you got boing boing boing. <laughs> that's the that's the, uh, the little uh, text up there. We're doing good tricks. So it's got the it's it's got the Forza Horizon nice and feel to it. So I'm I'm cool with that. It's not as far as I know. It's not like an open world or anything like that. It's just you just go from race to race like you would in in uh, in a Forza game, and not Forza Horizon. So and that's fine. I'm cool with that. Honestly, as long as the as long as the racing itself is fun, which so far, so far I'm liking it. Although fourth place is a terrible, 
absolutely horrible. Not bad for the first race, huh? And to think that this was just the start. What awaits you this season will leave you breathless. I'll take your word for that, sir. With the first race, the first show points of the season will be earned. The rules are simple. The more spectacular the maneuvers, the more show points you earn. Riders who want to reach the final have to earn quite a few. Okay. Well, so it is essentially what we would expect um, coming from any uh, any other game. So cool. All right, proceed. Back to Gravel Channel, the program which revolutionized the off-road world. Be sure not to miss the season where all the drivers <laughs> the season. The title Just called the season. Unprecedented challenges. Wild Rush, Cross Country, Speed Cross, and Stadium Circuit races are just a taste of what awaits them. Still not enough? Now you know that the best drivers from last season will be back too. Ryan Carter, James Watanabe, Scott Parker, and Justin Evans. With them on the track as well, it's going to be difficult working out who's going to win. Only the best will make it to the final decisive part of the championship, the final lead. Things start to really get serious here because a certain Sean Walker is waiting for them. The off-road master is pumped, and he has, believe me, no intention of giving up his crown. All the ingredients for another un- Is Sean Walker an actual guy? Strong, <laughs> off-road masters is back. Is that an actual racer, or are they making up names? I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. Season debut. 2 of 12, episode 1. Nice. 2 of 12 stars I got. I need 270 stars, eh? Downloadable content required. Ice and fire. Bonus episode. Hmm. What is this? DLC then? I wonder. So it requires, what, six stars to go to that one? Ten? Hmm. Okay. So, episode one. Does this have more than one race? Or is it the same race? Oh, okay. Good. I'm, I'm like... A little confused there. All right. So each each track we can get up to three stars. Okay, that makes sense now. Cool. Uh, let's do Memorial Coliseum in L.A. What do we got here? A Toyota T100. Uh, or a Ford. Oh, the Ford SVT Raptor. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I need level 11 to, to get that. Oh. Uh, the Chevy Silverado, and then there is a DLC one, okay, which is the BMW X6 trophy truck. Hmm. All right, well, it looks like the only thing we could afford is the is the Toyota. Uh, so we'll do that. What do we got here? Reach level eight, man. Oh man. All right. <laughs> they ain't they ain't playing around, are they? Like you're gonna be stuck on this car for a long time, so you better get to like it. Um, so finish at least third gets me three stars. Finish at least fifth two, and complete the race gives me one star. Okay. All right, that makes sense. So I guess that's why I guess finish at least third. So I was fourth last time. That's why I got two stars. I guess. All right. Fine by me. Um, for some reason, I can't select race options. I could in other ones, but I can't in this one. It's it's all weird. The menus are not quite working for some, for me for some reason. Oh, now I can do race options, but I can't do car settings. I don't know. Like I'm pressing on the controller and it's not going down there. But race options, I'll show you. So I'm on medium. That gives me a five percent bonus. And then here's all the other things you can do. You can turn off the braking help. Um to you know any lock brakes i'll give you percentage auto brakes all this stuff i've got corners only on the ideal trajectory you can turn that off entirely and it'll give you a three percent bonus and then damage you can turn on if you want i just have cosmetics so so you can see where all the uh it's you know where all the bonuses and stuff come come in and then other things are locked but i guess that's because it's it's not a it's a a pre-built race um, I guess so. All right, let's start. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Right, Bauer Yamaguchi and Muller in front of me. This is oh, this is kind of weird. 
Um, can we? There, uh, is it just me? Or does it seem like... In this race, it seems like the cars are... Uh, well... Uh, matchbox cars? <laughs> like, radio-controlled matchbox cars? Is it just... It just... Like, it's funny, because the last race, I didn't notice it so much. Now, it's like... It, it, they actually seem like they have that sort of sheen on them. Like, they're like little toy cars. Um, which is which is weird, but I mean I'm not. It's not terrible. I'm just I'm just looking at it. And I'm like, hmm, that's kind of strange. I didn't notice it in the last race so much. Maybe it's because we're so up close with like, um, maybe because the track is much closer in. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just the lighting. I'm still, I'm still cool with it. I, I'm fine. Ah, this is, this is annoying though. This, uh, this tendency these cars have to flip on their side. Not a fan. Especially when the, the AI will not get out of my freaking way. Yeah, that's just, that's really going to be annoying, isn't it? Because it's, that's not a proper collision that's happening there. Cars do not collide that way and then and then flip. <laughs> There's, you know what I mean? Like, that's just a bad physics calculation. I feel like. All right, here we go. How many laps are left? I can't see the left. Oh, it's over. Okay, four or five. Got it. Don't do it, Hood. Don't do it. Don't make me put you into the wall. Because I will, damn it. I will. first <laughs> despite all all my best efforts to to but fail at that race. so many years as a commentator and these guys still managed to leave me speechless all right an achievement the fans are warming up too okay boom 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 boom, boom. i hope this music is is good for youtube because it's actually pretty good one. All right, let's do Alaska. It's like a very straight, windy course, though. All right, I guess we're stuck with what we're stuck with. Let's go, go, go. I feel like they probably should have another... Uh, oh, this is cross-country. I feel like they should probably have another car that you can switch off to early on. Just to uh, give you something a little bit different. You here in the Alaska but, um, uh, whatever. To the off-road fans watching out there, you're on Gravel Channel. Stay tuned, you won't regret it. Okay. Well, I guess technically they did give me a different car, huh? This, this does not look like the T100 I was in. Alright, well. Scratch what I said, then, I guess. This <laughs> is... Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, slidey. Slidey slide. There we go. The driving actually feels really good. Which I'm very happy about. A lot of times you pick up a racing game and everything feels like you're driving through mud, even when you're driving through mud. <laughs> and this this feels really good. The cars are... I think the lighting on the cars is what's throwing me off, because it looks like the... It looks like the car is... And, and I'm going to get all my terminology wrong here, but it looks like the car is, is just... 
globally illuminate it, regardless of whether you're in a tunnel or not. Um, so it's kind of it's so it's 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 funny. It's it's like standing out like a sore thumb, but at the same time, I don't really care. I like it. I like the the gameplay. Oh wow, I I went super wide here. Apparently, sixty percent completion. It's a, it, it's kind of reminding me of those like old um, handheld games, the handheld racing games where the your car was actually just painted on the screen, and everything else is moved around it. Uh, it's, it, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, which you know, is not a terrible, a terrible uh, memory either. Uh, but <laughs> it's, it just seems like that, which is which is pretty funny. Um, okay, ninety-one. I'm not gonna get very much further here, am I? Ooh, wow! I I clipped right through that wall. Okay, that was a thing. But we made it in third, so I should get three stars, I hope, right? Let's enjoy this race together and don't be too sad. Off-Road Masters is back next week. Don't be Always too sad. Here on Gravel don't be too sad. Uh, did I get... Yeah, I got three stars. Okay, cool. New livery unlocked. Nice. Well, I mean, we're leveling up pretty quickly, I guess. So, I guess level eight isn't that far away. But, uh... We got we got one more track in this one, and we need to get the twelve stars, and we're at eight, so we're almost there. This means I gotta get to oh well, it's the twelve is the maximum. We actually only needed eight, I think, to get the next one or something or ten. I don't know. Anyway, uh, extreme racing at uh, Lo Loic Lo Loic Lo 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 <laughs> I, I have no idea how you say that. Okay, well, this is a different car, too. A Porsche 911 Rally. Okay. All right, I take it back. You're giving me you're giving me different cars to play in. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Speed cross. Oh, it's in France. That's why I can't pronounce it. Well. Only Gravel Channel can serve up such a cocktail of pure adrenaline. Today... It probably means stinky American or something. <laughs> Knowing the French. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. We're, we're good. Ooh. Minev, you need to, you need to like, let me through here, dude. Seriously, you need to... You need to just kind of move out of the way so I can get through here. I get that you're trying to win the race and all, but when a guy's up your ass, sometimes you gotta... Sometimes you gotta part the cheeks, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, that's... that was... That was, that was an interesting reset, okay. Uh... Come on. Okay, this this track this track is going to be the death of me here. I cannot get a good. Uh, I'm doing all kinds of drifting now, and I can't get a good line here because these guys are just in my freaking way here. Can't you can't you see a champion when when you when you know one? You guys gotta just like move or something. Uh, like, let me through. You know I'm the player. I'm supposed to be the one winning, not you guys. You're just AI. You're not supposed to win, silly gooses. Who the Munoz? Oh, it's so loose. Oh my goodness, it's loose. Okay. So much, so much drifting, so much speed lost. Uh, 
This car is very hard to, to work with. Still made it in third, though. All right. Oh, well, it means I've got the AI set for the right setting, then. Medium's good for me. The meeting is next week. Always and only here on... All right. There's another three stars. We got 11 stars in total out of 12. So it should be enough to get us on to the next episode here. So, yep. Off-road mixtape. Episode 2. Sure. Sure. Namibia. Wow, really? Okay. We're, we're rallying all over the world, aren't we? And there's our Toyota T100. I guess they start us out the first, like, two races are probably the, the Toyotas. One or two. First one or two races, I guess. Maybe it'll switch it up a little bit. There are those who enjoy peace and quiet on holiday, but we can assure you that's not us. This is Welcome definitely a cross country. Off-road fans, here in one of the wildest places on earth, Gravel Channel has set up shop for. Set up shop. I'm sure. I'm sure you had some fascinating insights, dude. But I got some racing to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what? Actually, uh, I'm I'm surprised that there is a, an announcer in this. And and you know what? It's the guy's doing a good job. Like it's not he's not uh, he's not annoying like some of those Horizon announcers where it's like, Drive, we're off the hook now, bros. <laughs> it's like yeah, okay, we don't need all that nonsense. So I'm cool with that. Let's get some air up in this chisel, McDizzle nonsense. You know? We don't, have, we don't need all that nonsense. Alright. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Now see, what's interesting here is the lighting is correct. For the most part. Like it it your car the car doesn't seem like it stands out quite as much on this one. I guess there's certain tracks where it just it just works, and there's other tracks where it's like, you know, it, it looks like a it looks like a matchbox car, which I'm you know, again I have no problem with. I'm just pointing it out that it's a. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, get through there! There we go. Don't you do it, Mayor? Don't you do it? Don't you do it, I will pit maneuver your ass. Don't you do it. You stay over there. Stay, stay, hey, stop it. Stop it. I'm, I'm here. This is my line. Go, you pick your own damn line. Pick, it, pick another line, goddammit. <laughs> this is, this is, this is mine. This is the, get over there. Get over, get over, get over. I will, I will knock you into the next world. Oh, 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 he backed off. There we go. First place. Smoke, tussles, and adrenaline. Who knows why you'd like our checkpoint races so much? I got achievement unlocked winner. And I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. Cool. All right. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this more than I thought I would actually. I, I had a feeling like it was it was mixed on on Steam, and I'm like, no. Oh. Usually when I see something mixed, it's like there's a lot of jankiness. But this has been going pretty good. This has been going pretty damn good. Uh, ooh, a Subaru Impreza, 1995. Uh, can I can I use that one? I apparently can. Uh, okay. Might not be the correct one to use, but I'm going to use it because it's something different. We're in Florida Stadium. 
road fans watching out there, I hope you're used to the heat in Florida because today's race is gonna be sizzling. The stadium is full and our drivers can't wait to you're, get going. The, the voiceover actually reminds me of... Um, oh, God. Who were the commentators that did NHL hockey on the PC? Like NHL hockey 96 or something like that. They were actual hockey commentators, I think. But it reminds me of them because they would do, like, right before a... Um, right before a, a game... Uh, when you're in the game setup screen, they would they would be like it's a, you know they would give you all kinds of like canned information about the stadium that you're in or stuff like you know it's a it's a, a cold day here in Philadelphia we're at the uh, you know um, what was it what was the stadium there I guess it was I guess it was the vet there uh, not the vet um, uh, I think it was Core State Stadium at that time. <laughs> Core State Center or whatever at that time, uh, which is not a thing anymore, uh, or maybe even because it's First Union now. It's not even First Union now. It's Comcast, I think now. Whatever. Anyway, it's changed hands so many times. I can't remember it. Um, <laughs> just goes to show you how long it's been since I've even watched hockey. Uh, even though I like hockey, it just all the sports are <sighs> just not as as into sports as I as I was in my youth um, and this is a figure eight I didn't realize that well it's not, not technically a figure eight but it's looping in on itself okay this is cool this is cool I'm liking it we're doing well here I would say four or five laps we've done I like the mini map too it's it's actually I, I actually like this minimap more than I like the minimaps in a lot of games because it's it's very easy to see given the background. Like it's not like 90% transparent. It's you can actually see where everything is in relation to you and what direction. They also have a little arrow showing what direction uh, the cars are facing and everything. So I I actually I really like the way they did that. I, Far too often, the minimalist thing doesn't really give you the kind of information you really want. I'm glad they didn't they didn't uh, skimp on that. I guess also you guys can't see the mini map, can you? Because I'm covering it with my big old head. Uh, I should probably, you know what? I'm going to turn my cam off just for this next race, so you can see it for yourselves. Boom, 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 boom. Dude. Actually, you know what I could do? I could just go full screen like this. See, now I'm not blocking anything. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. Uh, let's do this again. And uh, yeah, what is this? Autodromo de Franciacorta. Francia Corta. Francia Corta. Autodromo. Uh, Francia Corta. Okay. So I guess we're in... France again? <laughs> Question mark? Ooh. Ooh. We got some cars now. This is a, an Abarth 124 Rally. Uh, a 131 Rally Abarth. And an Alpine A110. Hmm. East African Safari Rally. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like the Abarth, though. Uh, the Fiat. Fiat Abarth. Uh, this has only got 177 horsepower, though. This one's 230, and this one's 185. Do I want the more horsepower? You would think I would want the more horsepower. But and they're all rear-wheel rear drive. Also got the bigger cubic centimeter engine as well. Hmm. All right, we'll take this one, the 131 Rally. And... Oh, there's different uh, skins for it. Ooh, I like the red. I like the red. Let's do that one. Bam! 
Oh, and it is raining, friends. That's going to make things interesting. Auto drive. Oh, okay. So we start from a running start, huh? That's interesting. Are we the only, we're the only one on the track, too. So was it a time... Uh, time attack, I guess? I didn't really see what mode we were doing here. But you can see now that my head's not in the way, you can see what the mini-map looks like. And it's pretty good. I like it. Soft surface. Oh, oh god, oh god, no. This way, you want to go this way. Oh, jeez. Keep those tires on the, on the road. Especially in the rain. A new record. Oh. Okay. If you insist. I feel like though something is up with the drifting. Like we're drifting a lot, which is which I would expect. But we're also losing more speed than I would expect to lose from a drift. Or at least more than I've been conditioned to expect to lose <laughs> from a drift from other games. So that's kind of weird. I don't know what's uh, what's up with that, but all right, it's fine. It's fine. We're doing all right, I think. It says we're fourth position now. So I guess we're not doing that great. Yeah. See, like, see how how we almost are at a standstill there. I don't know if that's because it's. Maybe it's because the track is wet and we're spinning our tires in, in the rain. Maybe that's what it is. That must be... Even though I have the traction control on... I, and it looks like there's lights there to, oop, to indicate the traction control. But I don't see... I don't see any illuminating. So I don't know if that... I don't know if they're supposed to illuminate or... Or not. And the traction tr trash control kicks in and whatnot. But I'm doing what I do in other games, which is if you keep, uh, when you go into a corner and you keep, um, like feathering the, uh, the, the, the gas, you know, on and off constantly with your finger on the, on the trigger for the gas, it, uh, tends to get through the corner a little bit faster. Oh wow, I got first at the end there. Huh. Okay. 55.077, just barely. Just barely, by 0 0.241 seconds. Hmm. All right. Boom, 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 boom. New track available in free race. Oh, so every time I do a track for the first time in the season, I can then free race it. All right. Standard stuff, that's cool. Stadium Circuit Master special episode, uh, which I could do, but I want to. Let's finish out this one. Let's do the championship. It's in. Oh, it's three three parts. Uh, checkpoint race in Alaska, the lumber mill. A lap race on the oval in Mont Blanc, Blanc and uh, an elimination in Latvia. Ooh. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm I'm curious. JRM Racing. Uh, that's the only thing we could do, huh? The Mini. The Mini Countryman. We're going to be in a Mini. All right. Let's go back to full screen here and get my camera back on. We wanted to give you a spectacle worthy of the name, and we've done it. We've organized a race which will leave you breathless here in the Alaskan mountains. 
To the off-road fans watching out there, you're on Gravel Channel. Stay tuned, you won't regret it. All right. We won't regret it. Okay. Oh, where we going here? Garcia? Garcia? Stay. Stay away. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Oh wow, just pulled right past those guys. Oh, I got an achievement too. Super fast. I don't know how I got that. I don't know what I did. Oh, what? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell was that? Did I just run over a rabbit? Like, what the hell did I hit? <laughs> there, was a, there was a weevil there. They, they always travel in packs. <laughs> They travel in pairs. There's two of them. <laughs> uh, there we go. Am I in... I'm, oh, I'm in first. I'm like, did I pass the first the guy that passed me before? Because I can't remember. High speed. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of high speed things here. Through the barricades, we go. Oh, 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 God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Say, say oh, wow! Okay, that's a that's a thing. <laughs> that barrier does not protect you against anything. <laughs> that's not as solid a barrier as I thought it would be. Oh, slow down! Slow your roll. Yeah, a thousand for a sudden stop, too. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, it's almost like I know how to play racing games. That's amazing. <laughs> I like this game just because it makes it look like I know how I know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> Anyone who's seen me play the Forza games knows I don't know a damn thing about how to play these games. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so that was part one. Unlocking more liveries. All right. Welcome to Monte Bianco, off-road Monte fans. Bianco? Like enjoying the peacefulness of the mountains, get ready to change your way. <laughs> is that how that's pronounced? We're not exactly Looks like Mont, the next race is Mont Blanc, to you not Monte Bianco. <laughs> I'll, I'll take your word on that one. It's not... It's, English is my first and only language. <laughs> and even that's a little suspect. Just ask my Spanish teacher. Okay. Alright. Ooh, we are, we are ice skating, friends. You were not expecting a snowboarding competition, were you? Neither was I. Oof, oof. The shocks on this thing must be titanium. So I wanted to I wanted to get on the inside of him because I knew he would help me get me get around that corner. There we go. You know, for not having seen any of these tracks ahead of time, uh, I'm kind of impressed that I'm I'm able to handle this. Also, I love that this car's got giant fans on the back. Like heat sinks. <laughs> My car is water cooled. Just like my graphics card. 
and my processor. My friends, I feel like I feel like this is a sleeper hit right here. Like I it's not often I come across a game that doesn't have very good uh, um, reviews and I start playing it and I'm like actually this is pretty damn good. <laughs> like it's good to the point where I'm like where I'm thinking I might just do a full full on let's play of the whole damn thing. Go buy all the DLC and all that stuff because I'm really enjoying myself. This is this is crazy. <laughs> I shouldn't be, and yet I am. I'm liking this a whole lot. I mean, it's not doing anything spectacularly different. You know, it's it, it checked off all the boxes that you would that anyone who's played any kind of game like this would expect, and hasn't really gone beyond that. But I mean, the cars feel good. The driving feels good. It's certainly not going to win any graphical fidelity awards, but I mean, anyone who goes back and plays like like I just did earlier, uh, Project Gotham Racing 2, will know that fidelity, graphical fidelity may not necessarily be the be-all and do-all. Alright, so we're doing an elimination round here. So don't be eliminated. And can I say also, the music is serviceable. Like it's not, uh, it's not blaring my ears out, and it's not like distracting. You know, it's just it's there. It's nice and background stuff, and it's not, uh, you know, it's not making my ears bleed or anything. It's, it's again. Nothing about this is going to win any awards, but it is a heck of a lot of fun. Of course, I say that knowing full well that I'm, like, smoking these, the AI cars. I bet if I, if I turn difficulty up, it's probably going to be... <laughs> I'm probably going to be bellyaching about how difficult it is. <laughs> But I'm also at that point where I'm like, mm, maybe I should turn difficulty up a little bit because I am kind of like taking no prisoners here. You know, I, I haven't noticed any, uh, I mean, I've been trying to look out for it, but I haven't noticed any rubber banding or anything either. So either they've done it nice and subtly or it's not turned on for this particular difficulty. Which again is something different from other games. Like at this point, you know, playing like a Forza game or something, I would have had guys constantly passing me like at nine thousand miles an hour, and then suddenly I'm caught up to them again and passing them again. You know what I mean? To make it more thrilling and exciting, which is you know, but really it's just all that you know, bouncing back and forth constantly. This one, I haven't noticed it. If it does have it. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was surprisingly solid. I mean, yes, these guys are on my tail, but they're on my tail because I'm driving terribly. Not because the game decided it wasn't thrilling enough and it needed to boost their stats temporarily to make them catch back up, you know? Oh, come on. Now that bitch. Yo! Nice! 
First place. In a mini. And I got an achievement unlocked of Survivor. Boom, boom, boom. Championship. I've unlocked a land cruiser and something else I didn't see. It went by too fast. So, Stadium Circuit Master, what does this we do? We know him for his eccentric character and fearless riding, but Scott the Parker hell? is also an incredibly talented driver. <laughs> After a two-year break from racing, he made Look at my neck tattoos. I am Stadium awesome because I got Master neck home. tattoos. The other drivers have been warned. He's and also a crappy beard. Probably some kind of weird mullet, too. So was it just me versus him? Was that what it was going to be? Florida Stadium? Oh, there's... Ooh, okay. Okay. Win the race. That's my objective. All right. Nothing less besides winning the race is what we got to do. Let's do one of these. Oh, hello. Toyota T100 with a different skin. Why, thank you. I will take you. And boom, fans boom, watching boom. out there, welcome to Gravel Channel. Three head to head challenges await us before we find out the name of the next stadium. So, everything, so it's three head to head challenges. Okay, so just me versus him. Alright. Let's take this Scott Parker on if he's a real thing, a real deal, a real person. I have no idea. He might be just a paid actor. Yes, uh, hello, talent agency. We need someone with a crappy haircut, terrible beard, and a popped collar, please. Thank you very much. I guess the thing to get used to in this is that you're really not going at breakneck speeds. I mean, the off-road, some of that off-road stuff I was going at real breakneck speeds, but in this arena stuff, you're really not. This is more like a, um, what was that old uh, NES and SNES game, um, Super Off-Road? It's, it's kind of, it feels, it's a little bit more like that, where you're not going super fast. But you're going, but you're just trying to go fast enough to, like, stay out ahead here. Ivan Iron Man Stewart's Super Off Road. That's what it was. Uh, the memories have, have, have arrived. Okay. The first race is over, and we can promise one thing. Always oh, in the lead. Achievement unlocked. Okay. <laughs> All right, game. You don't have to be passive aggressive now. Jeez. All right. Let's uh, let's do number two in this one. I like how they, they're not forcing me to do it. They're just like, hey, at some point you might want to get back to this. You don't have to do it right now. But I will do it right now. Crown myself champion. Memorial Coliseum. Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. Four laps and a double oval. Okay. Oh, 
love the, I love the, the uh, cheesy pyrotechnics. I'm all for cheesy pyrotechnics. So, are we always supposed to take this one oval, or can we take either oval? I'm guessing they'll let you take either oval you want to take. This is a double oval after all. Let's try taking the right one here and see what see what it says. Just so he's not up my ass. More exciting this way, too. Oh, he's following me now. <laughs> he's like, What was that about being up your ass? Final lap anyway. Cool. Alright. So far, so good. We're up to level 10. So yeah, I guess locking things behind level 8 wasn't actually that bad. Uh, as I thought when we, when we first started. Because you level up pretty fast. Uh, figure 8 layout 1. Let's do it. Same car. Friends and fans watching out there, we're here. Not long to go until the start of the Stadium Circuit Master Final, and only one driver can go home smiling. Only one driver can go home smiling. I'm hoping it will be me. Although you would think this would be oh okay this is this is this is a bad corner right here you would think this would be a best out of three elimination right but I guess it's I guess you just gotta win all three oh suck it Parker <laughs> how how are them physics holding up for you sir not so well What's with the puff of blue smoke over there? You see, like, is there, are there there's puffs of blue smoke all over the stadium? I don't know if you can see it, and red smoke? Is that, are we being invaded by, uh, by ghostly apparitions? Definitely right up my right up my tailpipe here. He's giving me a an undercarriage replacement. go out on a limb and say that there's some rubber banding going on in this race because uh, because it's um, he's really keeping up with me despite everything and I feel like I haven't made enough mistakes for that to be a thing so this this race might have some heavy rubber banding going on just because of it being as important as it is. Then again, there's not a whole lot going on with this particular track, so... Alright, there we go. and fans watching out there we've seen one of the most competitive just a warning shot was my Parker achievement to give in. 
He will try to take the title back next year, but in the meanwhile, let's welcome our new champion and new stadium circuit master. Okay. Uh, 40 wheels for me. What, I have 40, uh, 40 cars now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, or is it that I have 10 cars and that's 40 wheels? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. New liveries won. Got a bunch of them. New livery, liveries unlocked. New track available and free race. All kinds of stuff going on there, friends. Do, 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 do. All right. Cool. Oh, man, I am... I'm, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm enjoying this a lot. Honestly, I'm really enjoying this. You can see at the top all the progress that I made. And the, this first episode would only have an 11 out of 12 stars. And then there's a bunch of DLCs along the way. Um, Yeah, cool. Like bonus episodes and stuff. All right. And then you can see Wild Rush Master, Speed Cross Master, Cross Country Master, and then Final League. All right. Man, I... I was not expecting to enjoy this quite as much as I do, but I do, friends, and there's multiplayer, which I imagine nobody's playing the multiplayer, but uh, time attack, free racing, weekly challenges, apparently, which for some reason I can't go down to either. I don't know what's going on with their menus. I feel like I should be able to get down the weekly challenges and downloadable content, but it won't let me, it won't let me go any further, no matter how much I press on the D-pad here. So I, I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> I don't know what's up with their menu. Something, something seems a little bit off. But this, my friends, has been Gravel. It is by Milestone SRL. It is currently in the uh, Steam uh, Chinese New Year sale. Uh, Eleven bucks. Uh, I'm sorry, twelve bucks uh, U.S. Uh, normally it's seventy percent off, and normally uh, forty bucks. US. Uh, definitely worth it. I would definitely pay 12 bucks for this. I honestly, I would, I would also pay 40 bucks for it. Um, maybe that's why it had so many negative reviews because people thought the price tag was too high, but I mean, right now it's, it's a steal. Like I would any day, any, any day, um, I would, I would uh, certainly jump on this one. So, or maybe there's just a lot of DLC and they don't like the DLC. I don't know. What well, in any event, the mechanics of the game are actually pretty good. I, I don't have any any real complaints at all, other than the weirdness in the menus. That's the only thing that's that's bothered me right now. Is I I couldn't get into the video menu, video options menu, or the audio options menu, and I can't get down to the weekly challenges and downloadable content on the main menu for some reason. I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of bug in there. Who knows? But uh, in any event, uh, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.